prevention is something that's now just beginning to come into practice and uh, at a, a healthcare level we're beginning to think about. But there are many things one could do if one had a specific concern or index of suspicion about their family member, their child being at risk for schizophrenia. The first thing is just in general you'd want to, the mother when she's pregnant would want to take good care that she leads a healthy lifestyle, she doesn't abuse things, there's not anything happening that can cause the developing fetus to be at risk for a brain disorder like schizophrenia. So things here are involved, don't do drugs, don't smoke, uh, eat well. Um, it's, not, uh, it's preferable not to get exposed to infections. Uh, if the mother gets sick with something, then the fetus can be exposed. Also having a good um, obstetrical care, having a smooth and uncomplicated delivery. And then raising the child in a way that's non-traumatic. I mean, uh, we all can't control all conditions, but uh, you know, clearly early life events affect how children develop. And one of the uh, possible consequences of trauma whether it's physical or emotional, is that it increases the risk for schizophrenia. Probably the biggest thing that uh, one can do to try and prevent schizophrenia is, if there's a, a, a concern, is um, avoiding drug, recreational drug use. Very, very common that you see kids developing their first symptoms or first episode of schizophrenia after they've uh, uh, been using drugs. Uh, now, not all drugs are equally liable, uh, some more than others, uh, particularly the stimulants like methamphetamine, cocaine. Um, when kids go to college and they use stimulants to study, this can provoke the onset of the illness. Uh, also hallucinogens, so LSD and other hallucinogenic substances. Uh, also very, very bad is PCP, fencyclidine and ecstasy. So, um, and then the most common drug of recreational substance abuse, marijuana, uh, has indisputably been shown to increase the risk for schizophrenia. Um, kids, when they smoke marijuana during adolescence, are doubling, tripling, or quadrupling their chances of developing schizophrenia. So these are real risk factors, and uh, although obviously in our culture, it's not uncommon for kids to use these. If they're avoided, that's a very effective preventative measure. Mm -hmm.